The first thing you need to do is go to the AWS Glue Console. From here you need to go to your crawler and you need to copy the service role name. You should then go to the IAM console. Go to roles. You will need to find your role in there. You will then want to edit the policy associated to that role. You will need to add the S3 delete object permission to this existing role. You can now go back to the AWS Glue console. In the sidebar, you will see a section called ETL. Under there, click on Jobs. Click Add Jobs and call the name CSV to Parquet. You need to choose the I am role you selected previously. You can leave most of the other settings default. Your data source will be your table. You should create the tables in your data target and should choose your parquet format here. Your target path should be the same location in S3. However, instead of forward slash CSV, it should be forward slash parquet. You will want to keep these files separate. You should now click Save Job and Edit Script. You can use the default version of this script. Now click Run Job. You will need to wait a few minutes and then your job will succeed. You can now run your crawler again and you will find that your database has a new table added to it called Parquet. Now go to Athena to query the data in this table. You will find that this table will query much faster than your existing CSV table and will have significantly less data scanned. To follow the latest AWS features, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video.